Welcome everybody to Winner's Top 12. I am your host, uh, Big Shem, and we are just uh, getting right into things. Uh, if you're just joining us now, that's good. So am I. Now you're just controlling the stage with lots of speed and grace here, quick hitboxes. Uh, not letting, really letting a big, uh, big guy like Sephiroth move. Uh, Sephiroth in this matchup is gonna just wanna keep yourself. You about my box. I wasn't, I wasn't commentating. Uh, I was just watching. Nadia was right up in the mic like this, just talking the whole time. I was just over here, <laughs> spectating. I can't wait to watch it. Coming down with a big back air there, yeah. When, when Sephiroth is at that mid range, gonna be the strongest. Pikachu's got lots of burst options and stuff like that, but nothing that a seasoned uh, Nadia can't handle, nor a seasoned Pongo that can't handle. Nadia really putting on the pressure here with these quick attacks. Just a really nice burst option that gives him or gets Sephiroth off his feet, which is kind of what you want. Especially when you're really up nice and close like that. That'll be Nadia's first stock gone. Try to put up a little wall of pain here. Got him way off stage. Tries to catch something low, doesn't quite get it. Up air to fair is gonna put him away off. This is his last stock here. T jolts him down low, and the skull bash is gonna catch him with that no invincibility. Game one on Nadia. Game two getting underway on Northern Cave. Oh my god, he's dead! Oh, he's still alive? Yeah, Sephiroth's recovery is really good. This game's crazy. Every day it changes. Shut up, Big Shem. Okay. Zero to death from Nadia. Pikachu's got great offstage tools to edgeguard, and Sephiroth can be difficult to edgeguard, but uh, Pikachu's quite good at it, so it works out. And great timing from Nadia. See what stop. So, it's Pikachu just, okay, this is my theory on this matchup from what I've seen. If the Sephiroth sword is so pointy, Pikachu can just narrow, like, just get through, like, gaps, the back air and stuff. That's what, that's what Aiden does, he just full hop back airs and pull out up airs and just gets through, like, a full hop forward air. You feel me? So it's gonna be a lot of, it's all air to air. He plays ground game, he gets ground. <laughs> 
Ooh. Pikachu oh. still at advantage even after missing that guy. That's crazy. Oh, um, you dead? Nope. That's the thing, it's still hard to end this up. Back to you, Big Sham. That uh, wing comeback factor definitely paying in dividends for Ponga there. Gets kind of a free up smash on an unsuspecting or unremembering. Super yeah, super armor. <laughs> that's so wild. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's one of the big things about Sephiroth is you kind of have to have this big kill potential at all times, and when Wing is out, it's kind of always there Ooh, to an unsuspecting eye. You see that double four there? One, yeah. Because I feel like... That double fair. From ledge, okay. from his wing, so I'm going to see this double jump, big, drop ledge, double jump quarter, back off, double jump quarter, so it's two jumps. Be wary of that one again. Mm -hmm. He's mostly opting for the uh, shorter recovery. Uh, no. Like that, yeah. He immediately adapted yeah. by it. Great stuff to him. That after we did it one time. Yeah. yeah. That's the mark of a solid fucking legend. Solid legend. <laughs> you see this guy at, uh, what's that tournament called? Uh, the PC. Uh, Pinnacle? Pinnacle. This guy got ninth at Pinnacle. Yeah, he played it very Holy well. Shit, what a, that was a great entry. Yeah. It's really, really good for two framing. You can kind of just, if you have your timing of when they're going to snap the ledge, which you can get for lots of characters, uh, yeah, you can just do a uh, upbeat a ledge, and a lot of times it'll catch, especially if you're coming from above. That's crazy. Yeah, it's strange because I feel like Sephiroth, you know, all his, all his uh, aerials are at mid range and most of his tilts as well. But yet, if you're at mid range with Pikachu, <laughs> you, you never want to be at mid range with Pikachu. Yeah. Like dash in stuff, all this stuff. Air to air, to air you have to be at mid range to win this. There's not quite a range where you want to be against Pikachu. Yeah. That's the hard part. Because Pikachu has an amazing projectile, and like the projectiles that Sephiroth has are like kind of cheesy. But, like not not like yeah, no, no, they're not, they're not as range. quite as solid yeah, as like a camping tool. Really good shield break punishes, right? You know what I'm oh, talking about. I barely know. This is what like the his neutral be just like charges for yeah. like six seconds. And the side view is like the circles that rotate around. And there's uh you can stack up to like five of them oh. at a time. Little down throw. Cool what an angle. There it comes Yeah, just trying to put a little space in there. It's, it's really the weak hit, holy, yeah. Uh, this is chance. Goes for a down air. <laughs> he's got like one more of those left in him. Oh, what's the grab? Now yeah, he's got he's center in, stage. He's up to a couple percent. Everything yeah. kills now. Pikachu's insane. Dash tank up to everything. Yeah. Kills. Good F tilt, and then you. He's got wing, so he's got Ooh, armor. So if he, could, if he could just get his feet on the ground, he's got a great oh, chance of. Yeah. Got a great chance of making something happen here. If he doesn't agree with some recovery, yeah, <laughs> like he could have up smashed. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a really hard time. Man. Oh yeah. Well, oh, with the oh, he's, 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 but he's got armor. It's not as big of a. It's still commitment. Oh, yeah. barely gets to get there much. Yeah. Big is so hard in those last time, last situations. The best carry in the game. Yeah. Exactly. No, very very true. Two zero for Maiden. Game three, here we are back to Northern. Oh, this is FD. No, this is Northern. You can't see it from the first screen, though. <laughs> Up throw Nair from Pongo. Spaces away the Thunder. He's got a nice little bit of advantage here. 60% on Pikachu's lots. Good landing there, there. Pongo making the most of this first string. Actually nearly gets a zero to death there with that F-Smash. Goes for the full... Neutral B. Now that got those falling up airs. That's so scary. Yeah. 
Bongo kind of converting in the beginning there, but if you give away all your tricks in the first uh, 30 seconds of the game, Nadia will adapt, we know this. Catches the aggressive recovery. Can I say BZ? Oh. Does it like to BZ and NASB? <laughs> Skull Bash edge guard, gotta love it. Gets just over top of that down air. I mean back air. Lives that Pikachu up smash and now Seth at a pretty high percent here. Nothing is gonna kill, but having a little rage doesn't hurt anyone. Or maybe Pikachu. Still, you, against a, a player of not his caliber, you gotta capitalize on your stock advantage as much as possible, and they do more than anyone to make sure you don't do that. That dash tag is gonna even up the stocks. Bongo's got 50% on Pikachu. Good back air, can't punish that. One of the near back air, subtle for an F tilt on an aggressive recovery. Catches up tilt at the top, and up air. Side B for some extra damage, the counter comes out. Up B on the stage. Charging the whole thing. Hope we get a two frame, but he's just gonna stall with Thunder. That up tilt nearly gonna kill. Uh, not quite though. Hoping for a back air. I'm going out 68 and off stage. <coughs> A grab of the corner is big news for Nadia. One of that up tilt butt was able to get up shield in time and it does just about zero shield damage, so. Nadia opting for under, trying to throw off the ledge trap. Gets an up tilt now. Pikachu at 180, that up tilt will take it. Pongo with another stock lead. This could be something good. He gets a counter off. That did 30%. That just did 30%. Oh, jeez. Holy. Tries for an aggressive up B, like his former, well, like his like his pal, his opponent here, Nadia. Oh, good, uh, good approaching up there. Puts him in a good position. Goes for the short up B, and a nice little wave land on the platform there. Put in a compromising position with that thunder, but gets a little weak downer off. That counter hits the shield, falls off stage, maybe for the better. Uh, I wouldn't want to been on the ground there. Dash tag, not gonna kill, good DI from Pongo. Now here's the thing, he's about to get wing, I think. I, I kinda like, I don't know. I feel like it has to do with percent, but also, he didn't have wing there, so. Pongo got 65% here on Nadia, and now Nadia's gotta grab at zero. That's down throw Nair, down throw Nair, up tilt Nair. <laughs> up tilt up there, fair. That's, that lead we were talking about, pretty much gone. Pong goes up in percent, but Nadia just took it back. Pikachu's not a kill percent, but only a few hits away from being it. And there's the wing we were talking about. We've got a few extra options here. Rolls and whiffs the up tilt, unfortunately. She comes back for another fair, looking like Pongo on the ledge, actually. Wasn't really ready for that aggressive uh, option there, but no one really gets punished. I don't think maybe he even meant to clip the ledge there, or above ledge. Aggressive up B might lead into something big. congo has got his feet back on the ground, goes for an uh, approaching up air, pans out for him. The lead is back in Congo's favor. Trying to keep him at a mid-range here. Lots of projectiles from both players. Pongo approaches, gonna get, oh, mashes out of the back throw and shields the dash attack. F tilt here, now both are at kill percent. This is another hard one. That fair was big though. That extra double jump coming in clutch for Pongo. Dash dancing and once this F tilt, it's a very safe option so you can kind of throw it out quite a few times. And the up air catches him. Right at the peak of its range, good shit to Pongo. Game three.
game four is getting underway here. We are on small battlefield. Top platform can be dangerous for uh, playing against Seph Ross, so I kind of understand this pick. At the same time, you do give Seph access to low plats, which benefit, I mean, benefit both characters a lot, but Seph, I don't know, you should, I feel like you can up smash that whole platform, which is just kind of scary. Pokes uh, Nadia's shield there with the aggressive upbeat just sitting on ledge. Lands with an air and doesn't get punished. Good spacing from Pongo, good timing from Pongo. Super armor's through um, something but doesn't get hit. There's no precipitation tonight. Can you believe him? Can you believe it? Yeah, uh, there's supposed to be northern lights. Really? Whoa. Mike! Pongo clinging onto this stock, and it could be something big, but that fair last that's going to catch him. He doesn't really have too much to work with here. He's definitely going to need a string here. Made the most of that angel invincibility, but now it looks like it's time for Pikachu to get back on the strings. Going deep, gets the thunder, sends left, and is able to, he's able to tech that down smash. Is going to reach his shield, send him up, and do lots of damage, mainly. <laughs> kind of got a little stuck there, couldn't roll to the right, but that shield's going to handle it. He gets spiked by uh, an up air there, and uh, three stocks to one on, on the winner's stock here for Pongo. That shield pressure, he knows it's not safe to grab after the up air. Now he's looking to set up a ledge trap that has to do with that neutral B. Doesn't quite have it. And that F will take his first stock. Pongo better stock behind the pace of that uh, Nadia is setting right now. He does have Dark Wing, Angel Wing, Dark Angel Wing, which could. Uh, Maybe uh, turn the tables, swing the swing the momentum in his favor a little bit. But Nadia is just laying it on thick with these up airs. He's gonna get up attack that uh, roll read. He's got three little dots on him now, which is important. He's going away to take it. Oh, and actually gets a fair out. Maybe an uh, maybe an edge card, maybe a ledge trap. No, he just double jumps. Safe option. Well, semi safe option. It was the right option because he didn't uh, cover that. Pongo's trying to make something happen here with this wing. Put him back in this game, and that fair nearly does it. Not quite done. I just yeah. learned what the strong attack was after this. Hit. Nice. I couldn't kill him. That's and that super armor up smash is going to put Aiden on his last stock here. And that fair. Except this is pretty heavy. Yeah. Next one though. Next one though. He's gonna counter, roll in, and up smash. Or up throw is gonna do it. Yep, that's three one. Pikachu. That's the Pikachu. Pikachu. 